So, how do you create something out of nothing? Well, you start by doing. The same way a rhino runs headfirst into the unknown. You crash on full force with a belief in what you're doing and the direction you're going. So when we started the company 12 years ago, we had no money and just a little idea. Hey, let's start a media company that tells great stories and let's see how far we can take this thing. We had dreams of becoming the best media company in the world. Dreams of becoming a cornerstone of our community. Dreams of a paycheck. Through knocking on doors and a willingness to work on small budgets, we began making some strides and talented people started joining the team. Kalamazoo's beloved Taco Bob's was one of our first big wins. Thanks to Bob and Nancy for believing in us and giving us an opportunity. Our commercial aired on TV. TV, that was huge. Our photos were on the menu and in the signs. Our work was being seen. These are the jokes, people. Weddings were a big part of those early days as well. Not only were they a blast, but it opened doors to potential clients. And it let us cut our teeth on producing emotionally compelling work. And we love people. Weddings allowed us to build relationships and get a buzz going around town. The Rhino gets it done, and we're kind of fun to be around. We were growing. We were feeling more and more confident with every project we delivered. We never really thought of ourselves as just a video or photo team, but a creative house willing to try anything. And hey, we didn't have to go that far, did we? This led us to the world of Pop Tent and other online video contests. What? You want one? I love these eagles. And we won our biggest project with a contract with the Chicago White Sox for a national TV ad. It earned us a whopping $10,000, plus box seats at a Sox game against our beloved Tigers. A total home run. Blessings rain from above. Around that same time, Rhino got in early on the Harlem Shake train. Remember? The Harlem Shake. The Harlem Shake. What started as a fun little experiment turned into an unexpected and pretty hilarious win when our Harlem Shake video hit nearly 300,000 views. And it wasn't long before we embarked upon our first passion project, the Michigan Beer Film. The Beer Film would go on to settle us in the community in a big way. We spent 18 months traveling the state, documenting the world of Michigan beer and the people behind it. When it came time for the film premiere, we rented out Kalamazoo State Theater and watched our community show up for the film and for us. I still remember going to dinner with my dad right before the screening. When we went into the restaurant, the streets were empty. And when we came out after our meal, there was a mob wrapped around the entire city block. It was a firm reminder that the work we were doing, the challenges we were facing were worth it because we fiercely believed in what we were doing and the stories we were telling. The momentum from the Michigan beer film blew us away, and it wasn't long before we were looking for our next passion project, this time with even more heart. Two on one, Matt Scott scores! We spent a little over a year filming with the Matska family, working to document our new friend Scott's journey with ALS. We traveled with the Matskas around Michigan, out to Montana, and over to the UK, where Scott played professional hockey. We did everything we could to tell Scott's true story of life and ultimately his death from ALS. The film premiered six months before Scott passed and there wasn't a dry eye in the room. This time, we had created something that was more than just art. It was a legacy, Scott's legacy. We were reminded yet again of the power of great stories to transcend boundaries and create meaningful communal experiences. Meanwhile, things progressed in major ways with our work all around. Before long, we were working with several Michigan-based Fortune 500 companies that you may have heard of, as well as other big players in our local market. These opportunities were huge 
and the Gilmore Car Museum even approached us with a request for a documentary short on the history of the automobile. Over a hundred years of story to pack into a meaningful eight minute film. Bigger projects meant higher stakes and greater returns on jobs well done. We could not afford to mess this up. In those days, we'd say, making this up as I go. One part joke, one part mantra. Hey, it worked when Indiana Jones said it. I don't know, I'm making this up as I go. We could do anything if we just committed to crashing on, full steam ahead, figuring things out as we went, couldn't we? Over the years, Rhino's gone from a team of three huddled around a table at a Big B Coffee to a team of over 20 plus hardworking folks and growing every year. Christian! And yeah, we made ourselves a few homes around the town over the years, moving from Big B to a small corner over the Pregnancy Care Center, to the Park Trade Center, to our spot on Rose Street, and now to our current studio at 505 West Willard on the edge of downtown Kalamazoo. Hey, we've been a lot of places and we've seen a lot of things and captured some truly remarkable stories from all around the world. The one thing that compels us to keep at it, that keeps us crashing on into the unknown day after day, is just that, the stories. In the last 12 years, Rhino has been blessed with the ability to influence and enhance the lives of many brands, companies, and people. It's not a responsibility we take lightly. It is our greatest joy and passion. So when 2020 hit, our world, like so many others, was rocked. We were no longer able to gather in a studio. We weren't able to collaborate, to spend time with one another, to bond as creatives. We couldn't really travel or really even go on shoots, but we could still create. And so that's what we chose to do. From our homes, we made spec proposal videos for companies that we thought would be great to work with. Duolingo, Magnolia Home, Chewy, Venmo. No bites, not one. Until Zoom, the product that was being used by damn near everyone on the earth. Zoom, the household name. Zoom, the company that kept the world sane in the most insane of times. They came to us after they saw our work. We started small with a project in the early fall with a cool little video to highlight their new Zoom suite. The end of the year hit though, and they called us again. They needed a video highlighting how their app had brought people together all over the world. Basically a global thank you video. It was set to premiere on the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the tallest building on earth, on New Year's Eve. And they needed it in 14 days. Of course we said yes. Our team set to work to produce 16 individual scenes in the days leading up to Christmas. We crashed on until the very end. We delivered the final cut on Christmas Eve, and it was worth every moment. The video was a huge hit, and today, Zoom is one of our best clients. We love working with them, and they trust and respect our process. Our work since partnering with Zoom and coming out of 2020 has helped us see how we're capable of great heights of tackling entirely new challenges with every project. Our growth over the past couple of years has been incredible, and I'm super proud of our team for leveling up in every aspect of our production and creative. Bring it in. 12 years of Rhino, 12 years of stories, 12 years of love and sweat and gear and mistakes and rhinos and joy. We have been faced with so many things that were either going to push us to the next level or end us. So much has changed, but the thing driving us has remained the same. We are grateful. To all the people who have been with us on this journey, we love the hell out of you. We hope we can continue to make you proud Cheers to 12 incredible years of crashing on, and cheers to at least 12 more of them. <laughs> <laughs>